guys, Shane Storms with DroidMotorRace.com. As many of you probably know by now, Verizon did release an over-the-air update to VR AMC3 Android 4.1.2 for the Verizon Galaxy Note 2. Now this would have patched your unlocked bootloader and also rooted your phone. I'm sorry, it would have unrooted your device. So if you did accept that, no worries, Adam Outler has updated his casual root method and you will be able to unlock your bootloader and unroot your phone. The same method uh, as I did the video for last time, it still works, it's the same, basically the same program has just been updated for the new over the air. So I'll be sure to include a link in the description for that. Um, if you have not received the over the air update, there is an easier way to get to that update without having to go back to stock. If you're currently running a ROM, you would have to flash back to stock so that you could have the stock recovery before accepting the over-the-air update. Uh, so what I'm going to do is show you guys how to install Beanstown stock rooted VR AMC3. It's very simple, very easy. You'll head to the link in the description, download the ROM, and I'll show you guys that it's that's what I'm running. So we'll go to settings, about phone, and you'll see that it's 4.1.2 and it's VR AMC3. And this, like I said, is built by Beanstown 106, so it's really easy to install. You'll need to be uh, running Team Win Recovery Project or Clockwork Mod Recovery. So we'll go ahead and boot into recovery, so we'll just power off our device. Now one thing that I did notice on VR AMC3 is that I've had really, really great battery life. I've pretty much been getting more than 24 hours so after about a 15 hour day I still have 50% uh, or more which is pretty awesome and then also I, it seems like I've had better reception as well okay so we'll go ahead and power into recovery so we'll hold volume up home button and power okay so from here it's gonna be pretty easy You'll be able to install this over any ROM uh, or any firmware. Just make sure you do your wipe. So wipe, factory reset, swipe to wipe. Then we'll go back, cache, swipe to wipe. Dalvik cache, swipe to wipe. And then we'll go back, install. Okay, we're looking for the stock root Deodex VR AMC 3s. We'll go ahead and flash that. As soon as you're finished, you'll go back and flash the VR AMC 3 radio.zip. Go ahead and flash that. That way you get the updated radios with better signal. When all that's finished, we'll go ahead and reboot the device. And just so you know, this is totally 100% stock. The only thing that's been changed here is it has been pre-rooted and deodexed. Other than that, it's completely stock. So big shout outs to Beanstown106 for putting together this pre-rooted stock ROM. Um, and then also be looking forward to an updated version of Jelly Beans build that will be based on the new version of Android for the Galaxy Note 2. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. You can find more of me at droidmoderx.com where I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at droidmoderx. Hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe for more future videos. And thanks for watching. Be blessed. See you in the next one.